What's the name of this festival? Anyway, it doesn't matter, I'm going to get on with this. The beginning process of putting up the TP is usually taking it off the trailer. One pole which actually has the canvas tied to it, which is going to be this one. It's going to have the TP canvas actually tied to it. So, what I'm doing here is I'm now going to put three poles down next to each other to make the tripod. A lot of people ask me, how do you get that rope all the way up there when they're inside looking up? The rope's really high. The answer is you do it first when it's on the ground. This year I've made myself a tripod. So I'm tying the tripod pole rope onto the poles here to make it, make it out into a tripod. The same length as that bit of canvas, which assists it quite considerably. It's, it is pretty important. Health and safety. That's 18, that's 18. This one's bigger, I can tell. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Look at that. So that has to keep to the same distance, so you just bring it down this way. And what I can feel, which you can't see, when I'm bringing it into the 18 feet for the 18 foot canvas is as I move it in you can feel the rope crunching on the poles which is tightening it in which is perfect now it's important which way you put the poles in so creating a door okay so my door is going to here or as soon as it turns out to be the neighbouring pole so it may instead go to here or here the door. Native American tradition TPs are. Is that where you learn how to put it on? No, I learned off a friend of mine called Bob who puts up TPs and yurts and makes yurts for a living at festivals. And so yeah, I learned off him how to do it. Well everyone can do it slightly differently. Sometimes when there's a lot of people building TPs and they all think they know what they're doing, people can like a lot of things disagree with each other. You do it on your own? Always. I just find it easier than trying to tell everybody, oh put this pole here, oh no no that one has to go, oh no don't use that one, it's a really strong one, that needs to be against the wind. That one's not so strong, so that should be around that side. Oh, no, hang on, you put me, I mean, it just gets annoying, right? How many times I've done this, I'd say, uh, very many hundreds, maybe, maybe more than many hundreds. I'm putting the rope around the top of it. It stops it slipping. Make sure it's a good, strong structure. Got an inside rope. You see how you have an inside rope at the top, and then an outside rope. There's two circles of rope. Well, the inside one's around the tripod, and the outside, obviously, bigger ring is around the rest of the poles. If you've done it thousands of times, you go, "Whoa, here's a water fire!" No, you just build it. You can still think it as a blessing to the lodge. They would say. Right now, tying this thing. Why don't you use the, the tent from IKEA? A tent from IKEA, mate. They take too long to put up. Look, they take forever to put up. IKEA tents, jeez. We'll have a TP. More fun. Put a fire in this one, see? I've chosen a pole that um, is 
at the length of where I need to do the tie, which that's measured up even with the bottom of this pole, right? When you have a teepee, obviously, obviously they're natural poles, so they all have little uh, individualities about them. A few of my poles have a, have a nice ridge just at the right height, which stops that slipping, you see? Does he want to do it by himself? Okay. Do you want a hand? I'm trying to Sure? Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure tribes used to do this in teams. Are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. Thank you, darling. I've done it a couple of thousand times probably. It just is easier. Mm -mm. I actually am having a relationship with my ladder because I love this ladder so much. This ladder goes into every kind of shape you could ever want. It's the most solid ladder I've ever seen in my life. Now I need to get my pegs, my stakes, everything. Because when we're going to unroll this, and when we unroll that around all the poles, that's when the wind can catch it. And that's the one moment when it might blow over. So, so it could be like a sail. Well, it is actually a sail, not like a sail, it is a sail. So it will blow over. If you just put a big sail out and the wind will come and it will blow all that over like a little bunch of matchsticks, which is what it is. Have it happen? I've had it happen three or four times when building it and I think two times when I've been pulling it down. It's when you pulled all the stakes out and unzipped it down the front. But of course, when you build it, you have that moment when it's not staked in, it's just a big loose canvas and that is why if it's not windy I will put it up entirely on my own. If it is windy, like it is today, at this point I need at least one person to help me. This person is going to be Mihao, a happy cameraman. There we go, so if you can hold that. Yeah. And imagine someone's got to try and drag it up here because... Alright. So what I need... It's now. more than you expect. Yeah, so if you hold that, because right. okay. oh, it is so very lovely, beautiful, helpful. This is something that I do that I don't think everybody does. Um, is I deliberately make it too skinny. Look at all of that left over. But what that allows you to do is then kick it out. To the perfect level later. <laughs> right, that's pretty good. And then you think, oh my god, look at that great big hole we've got up there. There we go. Getting gorgeous. It's getting beautiful. Well, I lost some pegs. Otherwise, I'd do it with um, pegs, but I've guess we've lost some. So I've got no choice. We start to put the stakes in, you see. So we pull out to here, you see. And then in goes number one. I have a hammer, because these are wooden nails, so wooden pegs, if you just use a, a normal uh, mallet that's all metal, you'll split the poles very soon. So I have this one, which has a rubber end on it which is very useful indeed. 